In 2018, I wrote a blog that brought attention to many details of my childhood, including the deaths of my three adopted siblings, Lark, Town, and Thaddeus. On this day of remembrance, I don't wish to speak about what had transpired between my parents, but rather to the importance of remembering the lives of my siblings and all those who have died by suicide. For them, adoption is death. And for me, I'm filled with their memories. Here is an excerpt from my 2018 blog. Most media sources claim my sister Tam died of heart failure at the age of 21. In fact, Tam struggled with depression for much of her life, a situation exacerbated by my mother refusing to get her help, insisting that Tam was just moody. One afternoon in 2000, after one final fight with Mia, which ended with my mother leaving the house, Tam committed suicide by overdosing on pills. My mother would tell others that the drug overdose was accidental, saying that Tom, who was blind, didn't know which pills she was taking. But Tom had both an ironclad memory and sense of spatial recognition. And of course, blindness didn't impair her ability to count. The details of Tom's overdose and the fight with Mia that precipitated it were relayed directly to me by my brother Thaddeus, a firsthand witness. Tragically, he is no longer able to confirm this account. Just two years ago, Thaddeus also committed suicide by shooting himself in his car less than 10 minutes from my mother's house. My sister Lark was another fatality. She wound up on a path of self-destruction, struggled with addiction, and eventually died in poverty from age-related causes in 2008 at age 35. Today, I would like to honor, I would like to honor them by continuing my work as an adoption trauma therapist and advocate for mental well-being and suicide prevention. They motivate and inspire me to raise their voices so their truths can be heard. I'm left with an unanswered question whether they would still be here if only we understood intergenerational patterns, especially when it comes to mental health and trauma. Something we all can do is shed light on generational trauma and the strong impact it has as it's passed from parent to child. Let's break the cycles of trauma and suicide. As we take this day to remember loved ones who are no longer with us, I choose to live, to carry on their memory from one adoptee to another.